Welcome to Buck and Jack. I'm going to show you how to change a bezel insert on a Rolex Submariner. So firstly, you're going to need um, some sort of tool to pry off the bezel. Um, you're going to need something strong, flat, and preferably blunt. Um, a butter knife is good if you don't have a case opening tool like this one. Um, you can also use a plectrum, a guitar pick, uh, but it's going to need to be quite thick to, to pry it off. You're going to need some electrical tape. You can put the electrical tape on the watch itself around the lug here, um, but I prefer to put it on the tool because I don't want any residue left over from the electrical tape. So basically there is a spring, a tiny spring in the top here. So we need to lift the bezel off on the opposite side. So you want to go under number seven or where, or where the seven would be in. And there's a little bit of twisting pressure. You're just gonna flick off the bezel. So it's just lifted up there. And then as you take it off, be careful taking it off because you have this tiny, really annoying spring. It's just a bit of spring steel. You want to take that out, keep that safe. So I'm just going to leave that there. You've also got a little, um, I think that's a, a tension spring. It looks oddly sexy with them um, without the bezel on it. The next step is to take out the bezel insert. So this is actually an aftermarket insert. Um, I don't play around with um, official inserts. I've got my real insert elsewhere, but that's in another video. Basically you just want to apply a bit of pressure and just push with your thumb, just a little bit of pressure and it'll eventually give. So just slide your thumb, kind of roll it forward um, on the bezel and it will just come out like that. I have had a question around the diameter of the actual bezel as opposed to the case. 39 millimeters 90. Basically to get the bezel insert back in the bezel, start the pip section in the bezel because it's the weakest part and then apply even pressure moving around until you get to the bottom. I'm gonna make it sound easy, but it's not particularly easy because it keeps popping out as you go around. We're in success. So basically what we've got is we've got this tiny hole. That's where the L section of this spring goes in. And then there's a groove on the casing and that's where the spring hides in the case itself. So I'm in. So to get this bezel back on, you can see the teeth where the spring um, sits or, or clicks against. You want to get that on first. So hook the spring in, press it over, and then I basically want to Again, apply even pressure around the whole bezel until you feel it click into place. And there we go. Check that there's free movement all around. So there it is. We've now got an LV Submariner with a maxi dial, but a black bezel. So I hope you found that video useful. Let me know what you think about the black bezel being inside the LV. Uh, when I was doing this slow-mo shots, um, and the initial thoughts was it, it, looks, it looks good, it looks nice and chunky, it looks quite mean. Um, I'm gonna have to change it back. <laughs> um, I won't do it now, I can't be bothered. It needs that, uh, maybe I should have done it a different color. Um, but I bought this insert just for this video, so I went for the cheapest one, <laughs> and that was black. So I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, subscribe to the channel down here and check out some of the other videos that I've got going on. Um, find us on Instagram at Bark and Jack, and I will see you next time. Take care.